Now, a few of you know what it is to have something to so scold you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you, that your fight goes out of you. And you are so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you can ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people and say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies. You wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come rats in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the time that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down, stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy. There's peace. There's breakthrough. What you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to be it to the left or be it to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole team 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you quit me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Try to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. A lot of pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. I know what it feels like. I can't do it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You hear what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Don't get your dog on stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. It's all right. From the chaos. Stand still. And let the chaos run from you. You control your feelings. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is. But make movement move forward and do that every single game, no matter what. Come today, or get me any closer to your five-year plan, or your three-year plan, or your seven-year plan, or any plan that you've got. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the play game. I woke up one day and looked at the man and the man was like, Yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up. It's showtime. Let's go. Get up. Go to class. Get up. Do your homework. Work on your gift. It was given to you, but you got to hold it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you're giving yourself an option. You're giving yourself an out. You're giving yourself an excuse, but you have what it takes to do.